August is truly a time to celebrate when it comes to Nintendo Switch releases. Well, maybe not for you, but I'm truly a very happy bunny with what's arriving in this summer month. In actuality, it's a bit of a slow month ahead at the time of recording, but we've got some great third party titles coming to us and some indie gems that will be sure to delight you. Obviously, we could tell you every game that's coming to the Switch in August, but why waste your time with that when we can tell you the games that you should give your attention to? Without further ado, in release date order. Overcooked 2 one of the earliest standout eShop titles during the console's launch window was Overcooked, published by Team17. The game was lauded thanks to its chaotic, often quarrel-inducing local gameplay as you and your couch friends cook up a myriad of dishes in supposed harmony. It was obviously a big success in the sales as the sequel is arriving this month. While it's being released on multiple platforms, it's clear the Nintendo Switch version is receiving the biggest focus as it took up a hefty segment in Nintendo's E3 showcase. With more locations, more dishes, and the inclusion of online play, this looks set to cook up an improved storm when Overcooked 2 serves up on August 7th. Dead Cells Whilst in early access on the PC for over a year, the time has come for Dead Cells to appear in all its glory as a full-fledged release. This action platformer has a lot of buzz surrounding it thanks to its roguelite permadeath with a supposed Souls-like combat system. It looks absolutely stunning and the combat looks highly satisfying as you traverse an interconnected world with non-linear progression. It's sure to be difficult for you challenge fiends, and I can already see Juan rubbing his hands with glee at being the one to review this. I don't think me and James had a say in the matter. Anyways, we'll find out if Dead Cells has been worth the wait when it releases on August 7th. Okami now this is what I'm talking about, when the HD remaster of this Capcom classic was announced to be coming to newer consoles late last year, there was a tear in my eye as the Nintendo Switch version was seemingly left in the dark as the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 received one of the most beautiful and inspired action adventure games of all time. I was jealous and forced to accept my fate of not being able to buy Okami for a fourth time. Yes, I bought it on the PlayStation 2 when it was first released, the Wii and the PlayStation 3, but I really wanted it for the Switch. I would say it's a modern masterpiece, but it's well over 10 years old at this point and it hasn't aged a day. The HD makeover really makes the ageless art style stand the test of time. The Nintendo Switch port may even be the best HD port yet, thanks to the chance to use the touchscreen as the celestial brush during portable mode. Okami HD is inked an August 8th release date. Will you be picking this up for the first time or the fifth time? Let us know in the comments below. Cosmic Star Heroine For our penultimate choice, we've decided to go for something a little more low-key. Cosmic Star Heroine is a short RPG inspired by retro classics. With a nice 16-bit style, this interstellar fast-paced RPG looks set to scratch the itch for some and maybe a cheaper alternative to the recently released Octopath Traveler. I think fans of the classic Sega series Fantasy Star will instantly fall in love with this one, thanks to the overworld, 90s anime character art and cutscenes. Promising just over 10 hours of compact RPG goodness, it won't be a huge time sink that some RPG onlookers are always worried about. We'll find out if Cosmic Star Heroine can scratch that mini RPG itch when it arrives on the 14th of August. Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate Yes, it may be a port of an old 3DS game, but fans of the Monster Hunter series have been crying for a localization of Generations Ultimate for well over a year. Who knows why it took Capcom so long, but here it is, finally heading to Western Shores for you Monster Hunter addicts to sink a thousand hours into. Now personally, I didn't quite get into the series when I played it first on the 3DS, although I can certainly see the appeal of the slow grind to greatness as you hunt down fearsome beasts with your friends online or using local wireless play. While there may be a bigger, fancier, shinier Monster Hunter on other consoles, this version will no doubt be perfect for many thanks to its portable nature. Taking down monsters on the go has always been the primary way to enjoy the series, and is much more suited to the Nintendo Switch. 
The hunt will begin when Monster Hunter Generations releases on August 28th. Will you be picking up this long overdue localization? Let us know in the comments below. Okay guys, those were 5 games that we think you should pay attention to in August. It's worth bearing in mind that there will always be a few surprise releases that haven't been announced yet. I mean, we're still waiting for Dark Souls, so who knows? And obviously we can't fit every game into this list, and so to play us out, as always, here are some honourable mentions. Let us know what games you would have put in this list.